G'day viewers, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to 4 Drive TV. As always, we've got a great mix of 4 Drive entertainment, 4 Drive news, event updates, motorsport and plenty more. Let's get stuck into another episode of 4 Drive TV. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. Day two, we had a wonderful breakfast at our motel and then we took off and headed once again into the bush. We had an organised morning tea at a property called Pine Bank where our host Francis and Vivica gave us a wonderful morning tea and showed us around and also told us the history of their property and the history of the pine growing industry in the area. A lovely open plain property and around the house some dogs and also a beautiful peacock that the ladies certainly enjoyed looking at. Following our morning tea we headed off to more bush tracks and into Bungendore where we had lunch at the lovely Heritage on the Square Cafe. We're stopping at all the local cafes, the villages, filling up at their service stations, having a wonderful time. We're always well supported by the Country Women's Association and other service groups like Apex and Lions and Rotary providing meals for us. Once again, after a hearty lunch, we took off and headed back into the bush for some more creek crossings, a bit of a splash here and there, and some dusty tracks in the afternoon. I'm here with my son in my GU patrol, and so far, this is our seventh 4x4 adventure with Variety, helping the kids, and we've always had a wonderful time, otherwise I wouldn't be coming back, this is my seventh. I've got a 2009 model Toyota Sahara, fitted out with race suspension, air lockers on both the diffs, compressor under the seat, it's a good truck, it goes well. So I've got a Land Cruiser 200 series, it's a Sahara with lots of bits and pieces. Now my vehicle's fairly well fitted out, however on the trip there are other four wheel drives and they've got no bits and pieces on them except low range, so with low range you can come on here and have all the fun that the boys with their toys have every time. The old car, the Toyota we take along, she's pretty good. She rolls along okay. It's more of a Sunday drive than the real fair dinkum four wheel drive stuff, but we do get into some tight spots down there. No trouble with the modern day gear. We're in our vehicle 4472, which is the Flying Scotsman. We have our train on top with Maggie, our train driver, and she's there. We have been involved in this for six years now, and we just love it. It's a great cross section of vehicles. You get to find out what they can do, what they can't do. We've had some wonderful days here, beautiful weather. Having a great time out in the bush, seeing wonderful scenery like you can see around here. We travel along the great vistas that we can pull up and just look over the mountains. Hi, my name's Steve from Killer Custom Cables. We're back at round one of the Superior Shore course here at Alimba. Back to have another go. We, we took out our class win in round zero. So back again to see what we can do this year. It's been a 
been a few track changes for this year. We're not changing the track around each sort of run, the same track for every heat. So we should be able to get a bit more speed out of the car by Sunday, getting to know the track a bit better. Track conditions will hopefully improve depending on this weather. Made a few changes to the car since last year. We've upgraded all the brakes on it, done a bit of engine work to it, a bit of tuning, that sort of thing. Done a lot of work on the suspension, which we are really happy with now. All going good now. Yeah, this event, the, the events run over two days. Instead of the previous one day event last year. So yeah, it'll give the drivers a lot more seat time, give the spectators a lot more to see. There's a lot more to see this year with the, the trophy carts and the buggies and, and all that. We're hoping to take out our class win again here this year, but there's a lot of good competitors here this year in our class. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go and just hopefully we finish with shiny side up. Thanks again to Four Wheel Drive TV for covering this event. It gives it a lot of, lot of publicity. Hopefully get a lot more spectators and a lot more competitors here for round two. We're here with Jackie from 360 Gearboxes. Now Jackie, last time we spoke about damage to fifth gear caused by towing, what else can overload and damage a gearbox? Overloading your vehicle, like a truck, effectively. Loaded up like a truck, you should buy a truck. Extra performance on your motor, that will cause extra torque to travel down your drivetrain or gear train. Heavy duty clutches. The gearbox is designed for the car as it is as a standard build, so any mods you do will have an effect somewhere along your drivetrain. And what about four-wheel drivers who are in low range and using fifth gear? Oh, that's a big no-no, Simon. That will keep us in business for a long time if they continue to do that. Okay, for four-wheel drivers who are thinking about a turbo upgrade, bigger tyres, any engine improvements, is there something they can do to strengthen their manual gearbox? Depends on which vehicle it is, depends on which gearbox they have. Some can be modified and some can't. The most common we see, Simon, are the Toyota 100 Series 78, 79, 1HZ motor vehicles. They can be easily strengthened. Patrol owners aren't left out. There's always this modified main shaft, which will have that larger spline for fifth gear. These are in the pre-2004 4.2 litre and 3 litre patrols. So Jackie, is this strengthening worth doing? Most definitely for the Toyota gearboxes and also the patrols. If you don't do it, you will lose fifth gear. Jackie, thank you once again for your insight into gearboxes and thanks for being on the show. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Damien Edwards and welcome to round one of Superior Engineering Short Course Off-Road Racing Series. Here in Queensland we've started our full year of racing this year with three rounds. Our first round here is this weekend at the Palmerstone Road site. First round was really great with round zero. We had a great attendance with lots of cars turning up, lots of competitors, lots of spectators. This year we've outshined ourselves again. We've got up to 65 competitors. I mean, we've now expanded out to eight classes. We've got the Trophy Card Australia here, and we've also got the Super Lights, which is a single seat Piranha and Barracuda buggies, the four wheel drive Modifieds, stock, Outlaw A, Outlaw Bs, So there's been lots of cars here, lots of carnage today as well. So it's been some great action here at the Superior Engineering Short Course. So we've changed it up a bit this year. We've gone into a bigger and longer track. We've now been able to get the whole property to ourselves. So we've now extended the actual race track out to six kilometres long. We've got um, in extra tabletops over our back corner through to, into the forest bend. Then we've come in across into our and lengthened our main straight, which is now over 600 metres long. And the guys are getting up to 140 to 150 k's an hour down that main straight, which is pretty good. And then we come back in with some table tops. So we've made some real changes to the Jim Carner track. We've opened that up even further with putting in some more table tops for the trophy carts and also make it a bit smoother for the other cars to race through in there and get some real speed in there. It still needs more work and more jumps for the trophy cart guys, but we'll keep building that here in Queensland. I believe trophy carts is one of the future sports of Australia, so make sure you come to round two and see the trophy carts again. We've also got the side-by-side -side racing has really taken off in here in Queensland. We've got over 15 competitors turned up today. We started off with six, we've now got 15. So that's a great show of the side-by-side -side motorsport that's happening here in Queensland. And we've got two classes, which is production class and unlimited. So you've got the guys that can bring their factory fitted side-by-side -side vehicle straight off the factory floor, throw some harnesses in it, throw some window nets, safety gear in, and you've got yourself a semi-race car that you can come here at the Superior Engineering Short Course and have some great weekend racing up against some great mates and go home with a trophy. We've also got the Unlimited class which brings in the guys that are stepping up to the next level. So they've come off-road racing circuits or are wanting to go up into that next level with the cam spec vehicles. So they're also coming into this race and getting some practice time. Be enjoying the racing where you can get some really fast flat track where you can have an open throttle and just enjoy the ride. Every series on 4 Drive TV, we have a fantastic list of prizes thanks to our generous sponsors. First up, and taking home the Dirt Comp magazine subscription, is Paul Naylor of Morley in Western Australia. Next up is the complete Spanset Outback Recovery Kit, and this is won by Gregory Dimich of Landlow in New South Wales. The Nava Ultima 225 Halogen Driving Light Kit is won by Alana and Carl Carter from Maura in Queensland. Greg Quinn from Gosnells in Western Australia will now be enjoying hot food on the go with a brand new Travel Buddy 12 volt car oven. And the big one, the ARB $500 gift voucher, goes to Evan Taylor from Frankston in Victoria. Congratulations to all of the winners. Watch out for the current series prizes and check fourwheeldrivetv.com.au for more information.
Hi, my name's Matt. This is my son Michael and my daughter Natalie. This is our Toyota Prado. It's a 120 series. Two thousand and five model. The mods we've had done on it is we put on the winch bar, P winch, HID lights, Safari snorkel, dual battery system, twin drawers in the back, roof rack, warning. It's also got front and rear diff locks and a compressor under the bonnet. We love getting it out every weekend we can. Um, don't mind taking it up to Wombat, up in the Mount Disappointment also. We want to get it up into the high country a bit more often. As of late, it hasn't been possible, but that's definitely on the list. Next trip we're doing is going up to Lake Womboy and over Easter. So we're going to get it around the Nudgy Nature Forest up there, which should be a ball. Next mods I've got going for it are already waiting in South Australia. I've got a rear bar with a rear wheel carrier and a jerry can holder. And I've got rock sliders waiting to go on it also. For details on the next Your Rig trip, keep an eye on the 4Drive TV Facebook page. But for those selected, each weekly winner takes home a Berrimah Diesel cap, a Wild Deer and Hunting Adventures magazine, a Dirt Comp magazine, a copy of Blitz magazine, a Manel Motors stubby holder, a Mean Mother stubby holder, a Mean Mother coffee mug, a U-Fix-It windscreen repair kit, an emergency ration of gear oil from 360 gearboxes, a complete Donaldson diesel fuel filter kit including chassis mount, a plug and play Narva driving light harness, a serve of sanitarium up and go, a stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer, a Narva pocket LED light, a SolarPod USB solar charging device from Roller Solar, a set of the legendary smart scissors and a knife sharpener from our friends at Keesler, a complete Oricom trading kit featuring two UHF radios, charging stations, microphones and batteries. A bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's basting, marinating, tasting and dipping sauce. A pair of the innovative expander pegs. A pair of large four-wheel drive TV stickers. One of the new ARB air locker t-shirts. An ARB jacket. A pair of ARB socks. An ARB cap. And it's all neatly packaged up in an ARB cargo gear carry bag. Just want to thank Simon Miranda and Four Wheel Drive TV and the sponsors for the great prize pack and it's been an excellent day so far. Hi, I'm Dean from Safari Snorkels. I'm here to discuss the benefits of putting a snorkel on your 4x4 and explain what a snorkel actually does. A snorkel is a watertight raised air intake which raises the genuine air intake from inside the inner guard area to level with your windscreen. Allowing you to do river crossings, reducing dust and debris intake from inside the inner guard in behind the headlight. So very low in the vehicle and this can create a lot of problems for four-wheel drivers in situations where they might be in a convoy, there's a lot of dust being generated from vehicles in front of them, and you're sucking in large amounts of dust straight into your air filter, clogging your air filter very easily and, and quickly. So by the end of the day, you could have a clogged air filter which even needs changing or blowing out. By fitting a snorkel, you're raising the air intake of the vehicle from down in the inner guard area where you know, the dust particles are quite thick to right up to the windscreen level where dust particles start to thin out as you're travelling along. This can help with the full drive trip itself where you, you get to the end of the day, your air clean is still in good condition and you can sit back and relax. Other benefits of the snorkel, obviously it is a watertight air intake. You can rest ashore when you do your river crossings, creek crossings, that you're not going to ingest water and do damage to your engine. It's a fairly cheap piece of insurance for your four-wheel drive. Raising the air intake from probably well under a metre, doing road washouts, creek crossings, which are only five, six hundred mil deep, and getting that splash up in the inner guard area, you can ingest water. By fitting a snorkel 
and doubling your air intake height, you can you know, rest assured that you're greatly reducing the risk of any water ingestation into the air filter. A snorkel will increase airflow into your air filter housing. In V8 racing terms, we call that a, a cold air intake. Although we're calling it a watertight air intake, also is a, an effective cold air intake as well for your 4x4. Decreasing the, the air temperature going into your engine can also increase engine horsepower, fuel economy, and engine longevity. It's getting a nice clean air flow into the engine. Cool air is a lot denser and therefore you're getting a lot better combustion burning with inside the cylinders of the engine. Standard air intakes on most 4x4s in the inner guard area means the engine's actually got to be sucking the air through the air filter through the original air intake. A snorkel has a ram effect of delivering huge amounts of fresh, clean air into the air filter and thus can increase fuel efficiency, horsepower output of the engine and longevity of the engine itself. A person who services their car or, or takes it to the, you know, a local 4x4 garage, fitting a snorkel, reducing the amount of dust and debris that's ingested into the air filter housing can reduce the cost of servicing by prolonging the life of the air filter and it will increase your service periods. I'm Dean from Safari Snorkels. Breathe easy out there on the tracks. Hi, I'm Buddy Crow Jr. and we're at the Superior Engineering short course. I'll be racing the 450 trophy cart. This is our second round of the series so far. First round of our series, I come third overall. The car's a 450 quad black engine with a pretty good suspension and uses quad black tyres. <laughs> you can get up to 120 kilometres an hour. At the end of this year, there's an event in Las Vegas. The top two competitors in the, of the year go to Vegas and race against the American competitors. And I'm currently third, so hopefully I can get there one day. Today I've come second in the first event, and I come first in the second event. And so I'm currently tied first with Rob Jones. I'd like to thank 4 Drive TV for covering the event and putting on such a great show here. And I'd like to thank Superior Engineering for putting this whole event together and all the other sponsors. Unfortunately, the end of this week's episode, guys, but jump on to fourwheeldrivetv.com.au for the series prizes. Jump onto my Facebook page, Four Wheel Drive TV, for information on weekly giveaways, and make sure you're checking out our other two TV shows, Simon Christie's Four Wheel Drive Pro Tips, and our touring program, Your 4x4. I'm Simon Christie. Thanks for watching. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. I look forward to your company next week. <laughs>